tonight on The Price of Beauty. Welcome to Japan. Thank you. Ken Casey and I explore Japan's icon of beauty, the geisha. Japanese kimono. Becoming a geisha is pretty intense. It's incredible. Hi. Oh my god. We learn about the trend-setting oh Harajuku girls. This is a Lolita style. And we visit a Japanese spa where beauty treatments are not what you'd expect. Oh, how about me? I almost peed in my kimono. This is such a joke, right? That's like a Japanese joke. Before, but I never really got to experience the culture. Oh my god, I'm kind of nervous, you guys. I am too. I'm excited. I have two of my best friends here with me, Ken and Casey. Casey, you haven't been here before, have no, you? It's your first time in Tokyo. When I first got here, I was amazed by how many people there are. Where are all these people going? <laughs> They're all shopping. Ohio, was I once? Yeah, but you studied Japanese abroad for what four years? Four years. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that you're you not did? showing off to. <laughs> She's just not using it to make you and I feel bad. Yeah. Oh, when did you study Japanese abroad? Oh, for four for years. Really? Yeah. She lived here for four years studying Japanese. It was, it was her fourth language Sounds after good. she had learned, um... Okay. <laughs> you see how beautiful that is, though? Yeah, it's oh, gorgeous. Our beauty ambassador for Japan is Rio Mori. She is a model, and she was Miss Universe. Welcome to Japan. Thank you. I'm Jessica. Yeah. I'm Rio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're Oshuku. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so excited to learn from you. I'm going to teach you guys what is beauty in Japan. So I'm going to take you guys to the tea house. Amazing. I love it. I was so excited. I mean, Memoirs of a Geisha is one of my favorite movies, so it's exactly what I envisioned. As an incredibly beautiful Japanese woman, what is it that makes you feel beautiful? We think that reserve is very beautiful. In the old days, women follow behind the men. Japanese women cannot have opinion, but nowadays it's different. Like, women have more free to think. Do Japanese women feel pressure to be beautiful? Yes, we do. Like, all the media and magazine and TV. You know, we see, like, singers, dancers, models. So we want to be like them. Is cosmetic surgery big here? Kind of, but they don't talk about it. Really? It's very secret. What are the common procedures? Double eyelids. What is that? They cut here. Oh! Yeah, to make a double. I live. It's like we want to have big eyes, like a doll. Yes, yeah, crazy. Yes. Oh, I was so surprised. I was so I. I didn't know that that was something that people would even do. That's fascinating. Crazy to me what they do that to their eyes. That was fascinating because I think the Japanese eye is so incredibly. Just to teach you guys some Japanese. Konnichiwa. 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 Yeah. Good. Konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> she says it with a Texas accent. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Utsukushi. Utsukushi. Yeah, utsukushi means utsukushi. beautiful. Utsukushi. 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 Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the time. Thank you so much for having us. Such an amazing time. Thank you. It was so great to meet Rio. I think we came out of it very zen. We were very Japanese. <laughs> Sayonara. Bye. She's so beautiful. So beautiful. Japanese women are incredibly beautiful, so if I can do what makes them as beautiful as they are, I want to be a part of it. So we're going to the spa. It's amazing. We knew this was all out here. The rock walk was the first thing. 
So apparently it's all about hitting pressure points in your feet. Reflexology. Ow, 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 ow. This is very painful. Immediately, I felt like my feet were going to fall off. <laughs> it hurt like hell. Ow, 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 ow. Walking through. <laughs> and with one crying. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Get off of me! Oh. My foot hurts. Oh, God. I can't do this anymore. Oh, okay, oh, this is awful. This is awful. Okay. Oh, that was the most relaxing thing I've ever done in my life. That was nice. Wow. <laughs> hey, what is that? You got all the clothes. What are these? Am I supposed to feed them? Oh, yeah. All right, sit down. Oh, my God. So when you put your feet in, they're supposed to eat the dead skin off of your feet, and that is considered a pedicure. And this pedicure scared me to where I almost peed in my kimono. <sighs> One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Thinking chicken of the sea. I'll never eat tuna in a can again. <laughs> I can only imagine what's coming next. I might have a panic attack. Have they been buried alive because of our behavior in the rock pond? It's exfoliate? So the sand pit was supposed to do two things exfoliate and be a sauna. The sauna part, definitely. So we just lay here? I'd be back in two hours. Two hours? <laughs> two hours? No, two hours. No way. No. Yeah. Have a good time. Wait, come back. <laughs> like, you got to be crapping me right now. I cannot stand this for two hours. That's such a joke, right? That's like a Japanese joke. Come back. Why is it that you want to have this surgery? I want to have bigger eyes. Like you do. Oh, wow. <laughs> it kind of set me back a little bit because I don't understand why a Japanese woman would want to change the beauty of their eyes. So what is this made out of? Nightingale poop. What? Do I burn poop on my face right now? Like, it was kind of freaking me out. <laughs> Okay. Ready? I'm ready. When I think about the icon of beauty in Japan, I think of geisha. So we're gonna go to geisha school to learn about it. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> when we walked in and saw the geishas, I felt like I was in a completely different world. You're gonna experience being a geisha today. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. The geisha is trained in traditional art. So we're going to ask you to change. <laughs> they hand us a basket with our kimono, and then they tell us to go downstairs and get naked. <laughs> I felt silly in my slip because I kept having to pull my boobs up. I didn't want people to see the gravity. I wish they would have done my bottom first. <laughs> Becoming a geisha is pretty intense. Japanese kimono sock. First, we had to wear socks that separate our toes. Oh my gosh, I'm all bit of a <laughs> And then they put this wax on your face. So what is this made out of? Traditionally, it was nightingale poop. What? Bird poop? Huh? Do I have bird poop on my face right now? Like, it was kind of freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten many celebrities ready, but the beautiful thing about getting a geisha ready is the element of tradition. Is there a head geisha that teaches them? So there's a different teacher for everything. Do geishas marry? No. 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 Oh, so they dedicate their life to the art. Are they allowed to fall in love? They stop being a geisha if they fall in love. Wow. It's shocking. That is definitely a price to pay for beauty. So now we move on to the wigs. Ooh, fun. Mine's too big. No, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's incredible. And now that you look like a geisha, we're gonna teach you how to walk. Press your oh. toes together. Really? Little steps. Look far away, please. Oh, look up. Oh. And then you're not supposed to step on the Oh, oh you walk on the line. I'm sorry. The hardest thing about being a geisha is the walk.